So what we have on the motor is the filter. We have the drain plug over here. Obviously the fill and the oil check, but on the front of the motor, we have the drain tube, which is designed to drain the oil filter. Simply unplug it, position it out of the way. You wanna make sure the motor's turned to the right, the starboard, and then start that process. Okay, slowly remove the plug. Make sure you have the appropriate pan underneath to catch the oil as it drains out. And there we go. Check the seal. You want to look for any cracks or chips or any wear and tear that you need to replace. Put the oil drain plug back in and go through the next steps to get all the oil out of the crankcase. Okay, it's been in the down position. We're gonna trim it back up. Uh, being that it's been in the down position, it should allow any remaining oil to get to the bottom of the crankcase. We're gonna go over here to the side and we're gonna loosen that nut back up, the drain plug, to see what oil is left in there. As you can see, there's still plenty of oil left in there. All right, we'll put the drain plug back in, cinch that up with the ratchet, and we're ready to complete the process. To remove the oil filter, put some pressure on it. Once it's loose enough, put a rag in underneath there to catch any oil that may be left in the filter. Slowly unscrew it allowing the filter to drain and remove it. All right, we put fresh oil around the gasket on the oil filter, so now it's time to install it. So get it in here and you first want to tighten it up with your fingers, get it nice and snug. Then we'll put the wrench on it. Make sure you tighten that oil filter anywhere from three quarter to one full turn, and then you know it's secure. All right, after you've put the oil filter in, seated the uh, drain plug. Now it's time to add the oil. And we're gonna add on this particular motor, 1.1 quart. Okay, we're gonna check the dipstick here before we finish topping it off. Okay, we just need a little bit more. We'll top it off. When you do start your motor, run it for five minutes. Check the oil filter so there's no leaks. Check the drain plug so there's no leaks. Check the dipstick that you're at max capacity in the oil reservoir and you'll be good to go.